Welcome back to Adventures in Freeze Drying. Today I am going to tackle something that I've seen on Facebook and other social media groups on how you can do blueberries without cutting each one in half, um, which I have done and they're wonderful, they're beautiful, they taste great, but let's face it, that takes a lot of time. I don't want to invest in the 150 plus dollar berry roller. I'm just not doing enough blueberries. So we're going to try frozen blueberries with what I've heard you can do with them without needing to poke them. And we're going to try a dog brush on some fresh blueberries. So hang with me and we'll get this started. I just got home from the store not too long ago. So since I knew I wanted to thaw these out, I have left these sitting out since I came home from the store to start the process. So the first thing we'll do is just open these up and we'll put them in our colander. So what I've heard in several social media groups is that if you let frozen blueberries completely thaw, rinse them well, put them on your trays and refreeze them, that then you don't have to poke holes in them and they will freeze dry just fine. So we're gonna try that out and see what happens. Um, so these will be sitting out for a while before we get them spread on the trays. So I bought this brand new self-cleaning slick brush um, on Amazon. It's got the button that you push. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean it before I use it on my berries. So with this dog brush, you first click it and that'll stay out, but then when you click it again, they retract. When they retract, this plastic here will touch your berries. So I have 90% isopropyl alcohol that I keep in here for cleaning my freeze dryer. So I'm just gonna spray this down and I'm gonna let that air dry. I'm also going to spray my tines there. So we're gonna give this a minute here to air dry before we continue. My dog brush is completely dry, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got a single layer. I'm gonna push down until I can't push down anymore, and then using the button, release them. Which they released, it looks like they got punched, maybe I smashed a couple because they're different heights, but that appears to be working. Just important to make sure you get every blueberry. They're kind of going where they want to go. As I release them. Oh, oh, there we go. So now they're not so sure they want to come off. Oh, boy, got it off again. Um, so I don't know how long this dog brush will last. That seemed to have gotten them all poked without doing too much other damage. Um, I'm going to wash this now with soap and water and leave everything sticking out and I'd spray it again with isopropyl alcohol to get it all cleaned up and ready for my next use. If you have a good sharp knife, I was wondering what would happen if you just sliced a blueberry. But you have to have a really good knife where you're not having to push down too hard and just Boop, not doing a full cut in half, just a very quick each berry. Now granted, you're still handling every berry. And I'll also put some on here in the way I've done in the past that I think is probably the gold standard if you want beautiful freeze-dried blueberries, is simply just cutting them in half. So the second pint, I'm gonna do about half and half, cut in half or just sliced. And we'll see how those turn out compared to the ones poked with a dog brush and then We'll get those frozen blueberries that we're going to thaw and then refreeze on the pan and we'll see how these all turn out compared to each other. As I've been sitting here slicing and cutting these in half, I got to wondering if you froze your own blueberries, thawed them, and then refroze them if you would have to poke them or cut them. If you have ever tried that with fresh blueberries, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know if that worked out. Otherwise, we'll see you once my other blueberries are thought out. These have been sitting out for several hours now. There's some blueberry juice in this bowl, which is why I had this sitting over there in the first place. And I'm going to go ahead and just rinse these really good to get that extra juice off of there. And then we'll go ahead and get these put onto one of my trays or two of my trays. Simply because I don't want to stain my hands blue, I'm going to use a spoon to spread these out. 
There might be a couple that are still a little frozen, but there's not completely. So I'm going to call it good enough. We'll see if that makes a difference or not, I guess. So I'll get the lid on these once I'm done spreading them out and I'm going to let them sit in my freezer overnight and we'll put these in the freeze dryer in the morning. My blueberries have been running for just shy of 30 hours and believe it or not, that's already with 12 hours of extra dry time. I had an outage just a little while ago, but I wanted to get to the 12 hours of extra dry time before I took these out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my machine and we'll check on these blueberries. So the top tray was poked with a dog brush and you'll notice that they're not pretty. They've had some explosions to them. They're still maybe a little sticky, like that's not crunchy yet like it should be. And the inside feels dry. I think those might need just a touch more time. These are the blueberries that were store-bought frozen that we thawed and then refroze before we put these in. They feel really dry. They're feeling really good. That one was nice and crunchy. That's the same thing here, the store-bought frozen, thawed, refroze and they're drying and I did not poke these. I mean, yes, you have to take the time to let them thaw, but that's an active time. You just set them out and let them do their thing. And then the ones I cut in half, I know are gonna be done. I'm not worried about those in any way, shape or form. Those are by far the driest. And these are the ones that I just sliced. I didn't quite cut them in half. They don't take quite as long as if you cut them in half, but I sliced each of them. Some of the juices, again, that came out are a little sticky yet. But the blueberry was nice and dry. Ooh, that one is also very dry. So I'm going to switch some trays here and give these about two more hours of dry time, and then we'll check on them. These have been drying for a little over three more hours now. Um, my extra dry time ran out, and I turned it back on. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop this and we'll check on the blueberries. On the top shelf here, we have the blueberries again that were frozen, I thawed, and then refroze. They were store-bought blueberries. And while they might stick together a little bit, those are dry. Already I had no issues with the ones I cut in half. They were dry last time around, just as dry. And the ones cut in half, the juice appears to be a little sticky on the outside, but the berries on the inside are definitely dry. The ones that were poked with the dog brush aren't as pretty. They kind of exploded under pressure. The juices are still sticky, but they might stay sticky because of the sugar content. The insides of the berries are dry, but not as dry as the others. And then this bottom tray again is the same. So we're going to go ahead and stop this for now. I will keep these that I'm not sure of for short term to munch on just this week. So let's go talk about this experiment in the kitchen. Here's what I've learned from our experiment. You can definitely Take the store-bought blueberries, thaw them out, and then refreeze them, and they will freeze dry. Absolutely, these are dry. They're not quite as flavorful as my fresh blueberries. They dried through the skins. I didn't have to poke them. They probably are gonna take a little bit longer than what I think is my preferred method, which is simply just cutting the whole blueberry in half. When you cut these in half, one, they're gonna dry way faster um, so that's always a good thing. So that was good. This worked, the whole slicing them in half. Some of them worked better than others when I just like put the slit in them. But again, I think some of these need more time yet. They're not drying as fast as these dried. So I would definitely, yes, this works to just slice them. And for the most part, most of them look pretty. A few of them exploded but they're going to take a little bit longer to dry. 
And while yes, it did work to take the dog brush and just poke holes, these aren't the prettiest blueberries. They kind of exploded. They have like the juice that came out of them, which now that they're cooling off, that is no longer sticky. They are freeze dried. I think they may have actually, because there's multiple holes probably in each berry, I think they may have freeze dried better than some of the ones with just a slip through the skin. So ultimately, all three methods work. You can do any of them, they're going to work. The fastest way, sure way that they're going to be dry is if they're cut in half, but this is a lot of prep. This is probably equally as long, but not hands-on, because by the time you let them just sit there and thaw, you're not doing anything for that. So yes, a long prep, but not active prep. And these were a faster prep, and maybe even a little faster freeze dry than if you just put a slice in the blueberry itself, but they don't look as pretty. So depending on what's important for you, you make a decision, but know that all three of these will work and you'll be happy with the results if you give them enough time in your freeze dryer. Thank you for joining me on Adventures in Freeze Drying. We'll see you next.